Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am doing my favorites and fails. More good than bad. I didn't try a whole lot this month. I've been super busy with a bunch of personal things. So I haven't had as much time to film as I've wanted to. But I'm so excited to be talking about some things that I've been loving towards the end of January and the month of February because I like to give things a good run before I talk about them on my channel. So let's go ahead and get started. I got this palette in my ice cream beauty box for the month of January. I opened it late, but I used this palette and it was actually so beautiful. This is the Beauty Moon Cosmetics Bodica palette. It has three quads in it. I've used the kind of cool toned quad and the more warm toned quad. I have not used the berry quad here. I want to. It looks beautiful. I just have not had the time. But the formula of this palette is so nice. The only thing I will say is go lightly with the regular shimmers because it can get very crazy very quickly but I loved the duochromes in this palette and the mattes are very nice and they work very well and they're super blendable and the brand reposted my looks multiple times and I just really love that and I love when small brands support small creators it's like the best thing ever the next product I got in a trend mood mystery box I believe this is the Danessa Myricks beauty these are the multi chrome liners. This one's in the shade Emerald. I am wearing this today on this eye on my lower lash line. These are so pretty and so cool. It's the only multi-chrome liner that I physically own, so like of course I'm gonna love it. This just makes me want more. I don't know if this is like a good formula. I haven't put it to the test. I only wear this like when I do looks and I don't really wear my looks for that long because I am filming at 1043 right now. <laughs> it does go on very creamy and it has stayed on very well from what I've seen. I would pick up more. I think this retails for like $22 so it is a pricey, it's a pricey item which is why it's important that it stays on there. But I think Colourpop has really nice multi-chrome liners. Moira has really good multi-chrome liners that you can try and apparently Danessa. And I, I really like this one. I, I'm mad that I tried this one first because now I want like the Danessa ones. I want to see what else they have. I never thought that Blend Bunny Cosmetics would come out with a mascara, but they did. And it was like a secret. No one knew what they were coming out with. I thought it was a setting spray. <laughs> It was not a setting spray, it was a mascara. This is the Omni Lash Lash Perfecting Mascara. This mascara has surprised the hell out of me. Every time I wear it, I'm just like, wow, what a pretty mascara. It makes my natural lashes look so soft and so flirty. I did do a short on this if you're interested in seeing it in action. I will have it linked for you, but this just performed so well. The brush is so nice and like fluffy. It separates and gives volume and I love the way that they advertise this mascara. You know, everyone claims the mascara can change your life and like pay your bills and, and do your taxes and that's not really what they do. You know, this is advertised as just a good mascara and I love that she knew how to market it just right and I'm not disappointed. I've been using this mascara ever since I've gotten it. Have not used another mascara aside from the Betty Boop one from the Glam Light collection. But other than that, it's just been this one and I have loved every second of it. Speaking of the Betty Boop and Glam Light collection, Glam Light killed the Betty Boop and Glam Light collection. Like, every product. <laughs> Starting with the freaking mirror. This is my favorite mirror that Glam Light has done. It is so big and so beautiful. Every time it's on my desk, my boyfriend's like, that mirror is so nice. My boyfriend, guys, he doesn't care about makeup, but he looks at the mirror and he's like, that's a really nice mirror. Like, that's really nice. And it is, and it you can see everything in it. And I love it because it's just, when you just want to like, you want to see everything. This is so good. And like, it's so clear. It's so high quality. It's hefty and like, it's expensive for a mirror, but I think it's worth it. She's worth it, but it is worth it. And you have another mascara. The mascara for this collection, I couldn't get rid of the box because the box is so cute. But if I get rid of the box, I'll probably use the mascara more. Like, what is wrong with me? I don't know. Something. Something definitely is, though. 
but this is the actual packaging of the mascara and then the brush for this one is more plasticky this formula is said to be more waterproof and more volumizing i didn't find it to be volumizing i actually found it to be very lengthening and separating it gave me just enough volume to where i would be okay wearing this on its own i also i love the packaging i think it's so unique i love the soft matte touch i think glam light really did a good job with this mascara it's a lot better than the scooby-doo one that they came out with a couple years back and then we have the blush duo again i can't get rid of the box i love that you get like two different blushes you get a lighter one and a deeper one i like layering these up together i I don't know that's just how i like to wear it and again i love how betty has her little blushy cheeks this is the best like packaging i think glam light has done okay i love it or maybe i'm just obsessed with betty boop in a way that i can't describe i love it <laughs> and then you have the iconic red lip this was so beautiful i don't wear red but this one was stunning on and I felt so powerful and beautiful wearing it. And the lip liner is creamy and the packaging is so cute. I love it so much. And then of course we have the palette, the Betty Boop palette. I'm not getting rid of this. It comes in like a little TV. So freaking cute. <laughs> This is such a flirty, romantic Valentine's Day palette. I don't think I'm only going to use this on Valentine's Day though because like you have some really nice stapled neutrals in here as well. This black is literally so pigmented. It is the most pigmented black I think Glam Light has done. The shade Classy Chic is like the most sparkliest, most foiled shimmer that they've done. Like they had one similar in the Scooby-Doo palette, but this one's even shinier, even more metallic. I did use it in my look that I did in that video. It was really, really beautiful. I wouldn't mind using this palette again, but I'm excited to see what Glam Light comes out with in the future. We also did get the fantastic makeup bag. So they get an A+. The inside has pockets, y'all. La comieron. They ate it. They did a good job. I don't know what else I can tell them, but applause for Glam Light. <laughs> Continuing on with the Valentine's Day theme, Wicked Widow came out with this beautiful, super cute, lovesick palette. In here you get eight beautiful shades in this little mini palette. I love this little palette so much. I did a dedicated video with this palette and this palette will be featured in the February Ice Cream Beauty Box even though it's so behind because we're at the end of February already and like I still haven't gotten it. But you can expect to see even more looks with this palette. I also filmed a short that should be coming out very soon so this is very nice and i love the shimmers in here particularly the purple up here is so beautiful i love it so much but also the shade goodnight moon made for a beautiful unique highlighter and mixed with all these colors a beautiful inner corner highlight as well i loved it i love the palettes in this type of format i want them to like continue on with these smaller kind of palettes i love it i think it's so unique too because like it opens up like a little book and i don't see palettes do that often the next item are the elf pout clout plumping lip pens now i did buy all of them because I wanted to make a video swatching all of the colors and these are pretty affordable so I said fuck it and I bought all of them and I don't regret it like at all I do not regret it I know there's been controversy all over the internet about the plout clout lip plumping pens from elf but these are so fire okay they're so good if you like the Tarte maracuja ones if you like there's so many of these now the hard candy lip melts like these are that but like different the clear is in my bag that's how much i like it it's in my purse because sometimes i want like a nice minty i want something without putting on something and the clear is perfect for that it like gives a tingle it plumps without doing much i love it if you're interested i will link the video of me swatching all of these but i love them i don't know why they're getting so much hate they're a really good product at an affordable price and elf killed it i can't I can't, it's hard guys. I don't know what came over me. I'm so upset but so happy at the same time. <laughs> I purchased these Summer Fridays, the lip butter bombs, and I will not go back. I will never go back to another lip balm ever in my life. 
<laughs> I have the new birthday cake one, which is sold out everywhere right now. And I'm hoping that they can restock it so I can get a backup. Because I want a backup of this. That's how much I love it. I will explain more in a minute. But this one is probably my favorite to wear like on day to day. They can't make this limited edition. They just, they cannot make this limited edition. It needs to be permanent. I said what I said. It needs to be permanent. The one I'm wearing right now is this one. This one is vanilla beige. I like that it has like a tint to it. Mine's disgusting. But I want to share like the color. Because like the color is what I want to show you. It's like literally a beige lip balm. It has it adds the perfect amount of color. And I wore it on top of my lip combo today because that's how I've been wearing it. Just wanted to share. It's so pretty. It's the prettiest one out of all of these. It's the one that I wear when I want like something without being like too over the top and if i want lip liner i will add some lip liner and it makes it a whole lip combo and then this is the one i've just been wearing to bed every night this is the one that's like when i just want something to throw on and i'm just like laying there i use this one this one is so freaking good it's probably the best smelling lip balm like ever it smells so good buttercream like and the birthday cake is so good too it's so good i don't know i can't go back also, my lips have not been dry since I've started using these. <laughs> the best lip balm. I am kissing their ass right now. I wouldn't tell you it's good if it wasn't good. These are expensive and I bought them with my own money. So, very expensive lip balms. I understand. But it's the price I want to pay if my lips are never dry again. Along with buying those lip butter bombs, I did buy this Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lip Pencil. And mine is in the shade ooh, Spiced Chai. This is one of the new shades that he released. This is like the perfect nude is what I can describe it as. And Spiced Chai is probably the perfect name for it because it is like a spiced chai kind of color. And this lip liner with the Summer Fridays Vanilla Beige Lip Butter Balm is like the perfect lip combo. Expensive lip combo, yes, but it's perfect. And I love the way that these stay on. The only thing is I think that this is not gonna last. <laughs> I've already sharpened it multiple times. It's super creamy, so like it goes it goes quick. I also love that it has a nice little brush on the end. It reminds me of my boyfriend lip liner that I love from Hard Candy. And I thought that this would replace it. For some reason in my head, I thought that it would replace it. I was like, I won't need the boyfriend lip liner from Hard Candy because I have the Makeup by Mario one. It's better. It's Makeup by Mario. Tell me why I repurchased the Hard Candy one anyway. Because I was just like, it's not cutting it. But I love it by itself. And I love the color. And I think that this is a really nice everyday nude lip liner. And the color is particularly what drew me to buy it. I think this lip liner is like $25, $24. It was between this one and the Charlotte Tilbury one. I wasn't sure. And I liked the fact that the Mario ones had a brush on the end. So that's why I got this one instead. I will get the Charlotte Tilbury one eventually. But one at a time. <laughs> The next item I want to mention are a particular lash style and I am wearing this lash style today but I want to talk about it because I feel like no one talks about like certain lashes that we like to wear and I feel like it's important because these are affordable lashes. These are from KISS, the Lash Couture, the Muses collection and these are faux silk. So they're super comfortable, they're super light and like you don't feel them on your eyes at all. This particular style is Legacy and I really like the style. It kind of like flares out on the ends. I just, I love it. I like that it doesn't hide the eyeshadow underneath and they just look really good. So probably one of my favorite lashes right now are these and I just buy them from Amazon. So I will link them for you. I will link a lot of these products for you if I can. So you're wondering how the fuck I got my hair like this. It was not with a curling iron. I used heatless curling method. Now, I've been curling my hair with leggings for a while. But I figured I, I need something that's actually for this, right? Because leggings is not cutting it. So I got the, like, kitsch. It's like a, curl a heatless curling method thing. And you, like, clip this on the top of your head. And you, like, wrap your hair around the rod. And you secure it on the ends with the scrunchies that it comes with. And then you wake up with, like, beautiful curly hair. And when I woke up today, I looked like Shirley Temple. Like, I literally looked like Shirley Temple. I should have gotten the extra large. I was debating. 
they have like a thicker rod i didn't get that one i got the smaller one because it was on sale love this this was worth the 15 dollars i paid for it and i also got this on amazon so i will also link this for you down below if you're interested i was so surprised the first day i got it i literally sprayed my hair and i wrapped it around and i let it dry for like an hour and i took it out and i had really nice beautiful waves i was like wow it's like the least amount of work I've ever put in my hair ever. <laughs> really enjoyed that and it's this is literally the second time I've used it and my hair looks so good. I'm going to use it forever now. We all know that those cheek clapper products have been going around TikTok everywhere. Everyone talks about them. They're probably so good. I just $38 for like a blush and like a highlighter is a lot of money. So to like feel that without feeling that, you know, without spending that money. I did have this midi palette from Ofra, and this is the Cotton Candy Skies one. And in here, you get a cream blush, a highlighter, and a powder blush. And I'm actually wearing the cream and the powder blush today. This is stunning, and this serves the exact purpose that I want the cheek clapper to serve for me. I love that I can use this as like a, a lip product as well and I, I literally topped it on my lips today just so it can give like a nice little pinky tone to my lips. This is so nice and I, I love Ofra's formula. I think they really do a good job uh, formulating all of their products and this did not disappoint me. I loved the color. I wish they would drop like a more natural color because I feel like they only have this one and like a bright corally peach i want something more neutral in this style of format but for now the cotton candy skies one is definitely been a favorite of mine and will continue to be the last product is more like an honorary mention because i feel like this has saved my butt multiple times and it can save yours too so this is the you probably already know what this is but this is cinema secrets it's the like brush cleaner so basically you pour a little out in like this tin that it comes with and you take your brush you you dip the tip of it a little bit in you don't want to dip your whole brush in this can ruin your brushes okay if you're not careful it's just to be like a little quick cleaning method to keep your brushes free from bacteria and just free from like color so you don't ruin your makeup i feel like it's important to keep your brushes clean i like to do two look videos so i think it's important for me to keep some cinema secrets on hand so i can quickly switch my brushes from colors it's just a really nice convenient thing to have this little bottle is so expensive though i think this is 25 dollars and i mean i've been using it so sparingly but it is expensive and it is pricey so keep that in mind now i do have some fails i do have some sad sad fails to talk about today the first one i want to talk about is this essence soft touch eyeshadow this is champagne and it's apparently it has vitamin e in it i don't really think so though because like these are so chalky and dry it's why i don't really love it it's like there's nothing really happening here you know like this to me looks like a matte eyeshadow there's nothing really happening i like more pop with my eyeshadows i like more color more sparkle this is just what is this like what do i use this for i like sparkles i like multi-chromes i like anything super sparkly super pretty this is not that and the next product i'm actually really sad about this one so i remember the first time i tried glossier and they had the bomb.coms and they were in like a tube where you had to like squeeze it super tight and it would come out super hard and you'd like rub it in your lips but that formula was one of the best lip balm formulas on the market and i bought like three of them at the same time because i wanted them all i don't know what happened but they changed their formula and they bombed it they they bombed the formula they killed the formula everything that was good with it they like ruined it i don't know why i don't know if this is forever i don't know but i want to particularly talk about the glossier birthday bomb.com this smells terrible it tastes terrible i put it on my lips for the first time and i had to take it off immediately and i was just like immediately no immediately I don't know what the hell they did here. I'm so upset because this birthdaybomb.com used to be my favorite, right? And I was like, on a whim, I was just like, let me repurchase it so I can feel like that again. They like killed it. They literally killed and ruined the vibes. This is not birthdaybomb.com. This is not, this is not it. That's not what I remember. It made me feel sick. 
I, that's the only way I can describe it. It made me feel sick. I don't know what what they did. I don't know why they thought it was okay to do that. But this is just not this is not what I remember it being. And I'm so sad that they changed the formula. They changed something in it. Something's wrong. But then I saw that this was coming out. <laughs> I was like, well, you know. I did buy my birthdaybomb.com. It was a fail. This reminds me of what my Glossier one was. So this has been really taking me back to the good old days. Even though this is a brand new product, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the Glossier birthdaybomb.com from back in the day when they had the squeezy tube and it was really annoying. But they were like, let me update the formula and the packaging because now it comes like this little thing this is disgusting no this is gross whatever they did undo it heaven on earth this is the best birthday cake thing i've put on my lips this is the best same with vanilla like the vanilla is so good but the summer fridays lip balms have been healing the hole in my heart that i got from this being changed <laughs> and yeah those are my favorites and fails for the month of february what have you been loving what have you not been loving i would love to hear from you in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today if you enjoyed it if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more i will see you in my next video bye They hit the nail on the mark with this. They knew just how to market it. She knew just how this, this, and it separates. I get. This is my, the, I know there's been some controversy all over the internet about these elf clout plumping ultra suit, ultra suit. Is this like a topper? Like what am I supposed to, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for Thank you so much for watching this video and for hanging out with me. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much for... Ugh! And thank you guys. And I will see you.